So today I'm gonna to show you everything there is to know about the crop tool. Yo, yo, Karla Freta, my name is Ardolör, and today I'm gonna to show you everything that I know about the crop tool. And let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump straight into Lightroom, okay? All right, so welcome to Lightroom. So in order to crop your image and make your own crop, all you have to do is just locate this little square here. You can press it or you can press R. A nice thing to know too is that you can access the cropping tool wherever you like. So if you're in library, you can also press R and you go straight into the cropping tool, okay? So in a nutshell, here you can pick and choose however you want your crop to be by just clicking and dragging. So you click and drag and then you can move it around okay one thing that you should know too is that you are basically not moving the square the crop here stays put and you're actually moving the image around so look if i want to go down here i don't move it like this but i drag the image here underneath around and i drag it you know down you understand so the crop stays in place and you're dragging the image up and down around it okay now a cool thing to know here is that if you're inside the crop you are moving it around if you go outside of the crop you are turning it in any direction that you like you see so inside you're moving the the crop outside you're turning the crop okay so if you look here here you can see presets that Lightroom has. So if we go here, here you can press to whatever aspect ratio that you like. Let's say that we want to have a landscape aspect ratio. We press it and now we have it. And now we can move it around as we like. Now, what if you want to make your own aspect ratio? Can you do that? Of course you can do that. You see this little locker here? If you toggle that, now it's unlocked. And now you can move the crop however you like. You can make your own crop. We can have it like this. And let's make a crazy crop here. We have it like this. This is what we like, okay? So, and we're gonna have the sun right here. And press okay, and boom. And <laughs> beautiful image, right? If you would like to keep this aspect ratio because it's a masterpiece and you don't wanna mess this up, you just click the lock again and boom. Now you have this aspect ratio and however you move it, it's gonna stay like this, okay? Let's reset this. So a cool little feature that I think that you should know about inside of the crop tool is this here. So you see these lines that we have here? These are guiding lines. It makes you decide how you want your image to be. So if you would like the sun to be in the middle, we can simply use the lines to help us. However, there are many different lines. So if you press O, now you're in a not completely different, you know, set of guiding lines. This one I really love because you can see that in the middle, this is actually telling us where the middle is. So if we want the sun to be in the middle, now it's super easy. And up here, you can see this is the complete middle. Press OK, and the sun is in the middle. Simple, but there are a few more. So we go back here and we press O again. Now we get a different type of guiding lines. And if you press O again, you get another one. This one is similar to the first one, except the middle is now more narrow. And then we have the, <laughs> the spiral. I'm not really sure where you should use the spiral, but like all the other ones, these help you, you know, guide your eyes to a specific uh, spot in your picture that you want uh, your people to be guided to. Last but not least, we have this one here, and then we have this one. This one I like to use when I'm checking if the lines are straight. And talking about straight lines, in the crop tool, you can also make the horizon straight. That's a super important. That's the last thing that I'll show you. And then you're off the hook, okay? So, look, we have it like this. Here, these, this is how you can make your picture straight or, you know, adjusting the crop however you like, okay? By dragging it to either right or left. Right or left. And you can use these lines here to tell you if you are straight or not. So, right around uh, here, we're pretty straight, okay? And this is not so straight. <laughs> Anyways, you can also press auto. Auto is a thing that I like to often start with. It's a nice starting point. If you press auto, like you do now, Lightroom is automatically going to find uh, the, the middle and it's going to do it for you. And boom, I think Lightroom did a pretty good job. There's one more thing you can do in the uh, straighting tool as well. And that's a cool thing here. If you press angle, now you can draw where you want the straight line to be. So Let's say that we have the horizon here and it goes like a little bit down like this, right? What happens now is that Lightroom automatically makes the line wherever you made it, that's going to be the straight line, okay? So this is super nice when, like if you, if you have a drone shot, sometimes they are pretty off and then you can just take the line and you draw it on the horizon and Lightroom does it. 
It's also important to note that you can also use this to make, you know, building straight. So if we would have a building here, you could draw it on the building like this, cling, and this would become the, you know, the straight line of the photo. So now, you know, basically know how to crop your photos and everything around it. I think that, you know, this is everything that the crop tool has to uh, offer, crop and straighten. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in comments down below. I promise that I will do my very best to answer. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Shoo. Finished. Finished.